Not gonna lie, February was kind of a crazy month for me. I had lots of stuff happening, but most importantly, I got some really cool stuff. Not only did I get some amazing manga, cause you know, that's my thing. I got some light novels, I got some anime figure, I got some awesome Japanese prints, just some really cool stuff and I wanted to share it all with you, as usual. So I'm not gonna waste too much time, I'm excited to share it all, so let's just jump into it. But before we go any further, allow me to tell you about Gamer Subs. They sent me a whole bunch of different drinks this month, as well as some waifu themed merch and shakers. <laughs> they really spoiled me. One of my favorite things that they sent me that I was not expecting to like was their flavor Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Now that's sad Sounds absolutely disgusting, but in reality, it tastes like Baja Blast. This is possibly my new favorite. They also sent me some of their new flavors, including lime, black cherry, grape. They're so good. You heard me talk about it in my last video. I got the underwater waifu shaker and t-shirt. It's very nice. I also got the Suki waifu shaker and t-shirt. Oh mama. And they also sent me this orange Halloween style t-shirt. So if you want any of this stuff for yourself, be sure to go to gamersups.com and use code CAPTAIN for 10% off. Using the code CAPTAIN helps support me directly. Directly. And I know a lot of you are probably unsure about gamer stuff. So for a limited time only, if you use code CAPTAIN and get your 10% off, you can also get free shipping worldwide on free sample packets. So you can totally try it for yourself, not have to pay anything for shipping. So remember to go to gamersubs.com and use code CAPTAIN for 10% off. So again, thank you to Gamersubs, and now it's time for me to show you the manga. So starting off as a series, I've been collecting, but some new volumes dropped and so I've finally had the opportunity to add it to my collection. I've got Chainsaw Man, this is volume 8, and I was lucky and I actually got volume 9 a little early. I think it's out now, but when I got it, it was early. It's such a good series. I'm so excited to have the physical releases because I read it mostly digitally. Oh, what? Dude, I just realized the spine is all messed up. So yeah, Chainsaw Man volumes 8 and 9. There's only two volumes left, 10 and 11. Dude, these are some crazy volumes too. And then again, just updating some series that I already have. We have Komi Can't Communicate volume 17. The anime finally finished of this, and I'm not gonna lie, it was really good. <laughs> I was a bit skeptical and kind of curious about how they were going to put everything together, especially for a character that doesn't talk really, but they did a really good job. The animation was great. In my opinion, the series gets better in the later volumes. I'm excited to see if they do a season two or not. I got volume 17 of the manga. I'm loving it. Um, I can't wait to read this. So in my last video, I went manga shopping and I was like looking for my waifu. And so I bought a couple series that I was interested in. Don't think I'm going to find the waifu in any of them, but there were some cool series. So starting off, we've got Succubus and Hitman. I I never thought that this would be released in English. Thank you, Seven Seas. I have the volume of this in Japanese and I've read it. It's a pretty interesting series. I've only read the first volume. The English one is wrapped in plastic and I don't really know why. I mean, I guess it's kind of spicy, but not really. I guess it is pretty dark and violent. Anyways, this is a really cool series. I originally heard Joey the Anime Man talk about it. So I'm really happy that it got a release. I can't wait to read more of it. If you watched my last video, you will also have seen Mashal, Magic, and Muscles. Say that 10 times fast. Mashal, Magic, and Muscles. Mashal, Magic, and Muscles. Magic. So I actually got really excited and I just went ahead and read the first volume. It was so good. I only got one volume, but as soon as I was done reading it, I went straight to ride stuff and added the rest of the volumes to my cart. So I heard somebody describe this as one punch Punch Man meets Harry Potter. And I'd say that's probably a fair comparison. I definitely get One Punch Man vibes from this. I kind of get Harry Potter vibes from this. I've only seen the first Harry Potter movie, but this was such an awesome and funny series. It's about this world where everybody can use magic except for our main character, Mash. And so his alternative is that he just gets jacked. He just pumps iron all the time. He's super strong. And so you get some One Punch Man-esque moments where some guys are coming to challenge him and they hype themselves up and they're going to use some crazy spell on him. But then he just like uses his strength to just like deflect it. He's like, nope, I don't care. It's going to have that same monotone attitude of Saitama. It was really funny. I really enjoyed this. And lots of people told me that it was the funniest manga ever. So I'm definitely gonna have to read more and see if that's true. And next up, another one that you will have seen that I bought in my manga shopping video. I've got My Dress Up Darling and I have volumes one, three, and four here. They didn't have volume two for some reason. I'll have to get it on right stuff or something. So I have not read the manga and the reason being I had a friend coming over and we wanted to watch the anime together. And oh boy, did we watch the anime. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a special series. There's only like six episodes out. Towards the end, it started to get good. The story started to pick up some. I don't really have much to say about it. It's special. That's what you need to know. <laughs> and then right here, I've also got Junji Ito Deserter. I've been wanting this for so long. You guys know me. I'm just always a fan of Junji Ito's work. Love the art style. The stories are crazy and wacky. They don't make any sense. And I kind of like that. I've not read this one. I am so excited to though. Probably around this Halloween, I'll just go on a binge read of all the Junji Ito I have 
have, and then maybe some of the other horror manga I have as well. I've seen some announcements for some crazy horror manga that are coming out. So maybe later in the year when it's like spooky season, I might get into that stuff. All right, so that was all the manga I bought, but I also managed to pick up some light novels. I don't know why I don't really read a whole bunch of light novels. I'm really picky, but I saw this in the bookstore when I was filming my last video. Reborn as a space mercenary, I woke up piloting the strongest starship. It's got space mercenary vibes, not quite like Cowboy Bebop though. They had the manga version of it, but I said, you know what? Let me get the light novel. The light novel is probably the original. So let me just get the light novel and just read through it. And so I got three volumes of it. I got volumes one, volumes two, and volumes three. And yeah, I'm expecting it to be totally trashy. I don't expect it to be any good, but I'm going to read it anyways and have, probably have fun with it. I'm hoping if it's bad, at least it'll be laughably bad. Or maybe it'll actually be good, but I'm not expecting so. I'm keeping my expectations low and I won't be disappointed by it. Just looks like a fun time. So another thing I'm really excited to show you guys, I got some really, really cool prints. I'm not sure exactly how much overlap there is with like the manga community and the gaming community, especially since I think my community is mostly just manga. So just out of curiosity, go down in the comments and tell me if you're a gamer or not. It sounds like such a stupid thing to ask. But anyways, so I'm a gamer and... <laughs> It sounds so dumb. One of my favorite games to play ever is Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is like this pirate adventure game. I don't know, you've probably heard of it. It's super fun to play with friends. And over this past year, maybe even two years, I've got hooked, no pun intended. So I got these awesome Sea of Thieves, like Japanese style prints. And I really wanted to show them to you guys because I just think they're really cool. So I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but uh, here we go. Here's the first one. It is the Megalodon. This is my favorite one of the three. And then if we move along over here, we've got the Gold Hoarder. This is like the final boss of Sea of Thieves or the Ender Dragon, if you will. And then over here, I've got some bad reflection, but over here, this is the Kraken. So I just love like the Japanese art style that they have and they're really high quality prints but anyways these are just really cool and i love having them over here in the manga room right next to all the manga okay so again if you've seen some of my older videos you might know what this is Ugh. This right here is a figure i am really really excited about this is an anime figure i bought i don't know it was a long time ago last year the beginning of last year it's taken so long to get here, but I'm finally opening it. I spent way too much money on this. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. This is some serious packaging. I feel like I shouldn't be opening this. Oh boy, it's covered in plastic. You can't even see it. I can't even see it. So according to this box, this is the Megumin Explosion version. One seventh scale figure from Konosuba. I don't want to break it. Oh, oh man, this is crazy. Whew. The magic on this is, looks so cool. So this is obviously Megumin from Konosuba doing her explosion. This is like really well crafted. Dang, but it's not done yet. I still got like a ton of like parts in here. Okay, so in here we've got her wand with a severed hand on it. Oh, I didn't even realize. That should just pop in. That's dope. And then here we've got the cape. Does that even just go on there? Do I have to take the head off first? Okay, I do take the head off. Ah! It's like a Lego minifigure. You gotta take the head off before you put the cape on. This is not a minifigure by any means though. Okay, she's got the cape on now. Dang, I'm really impressed by this. Easily entertained. And then last but not least, we've got the hat with Chomusuke standing on it. Dang, that's it. That's the figure. It's way bigger than I thought it would be. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, and that's mostly everything. Like I said, some really cool stuff. Remember, I got links in the description if you're interested in buying some manga for yourself from Right Stuff Book Depository. I've also got my GamerSups link down there. Remember to use code CAPTAIN. And thank you to the people who have been using the links. It helps support me directly, and so I can't thank you enough. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. That's it for me. I'm Ryan and bye.